This is our uh, QuickBooks 2015 tutorial video. This is part three. So in this video, we're going to talk about item listing, or item list in QuickBooks 2015. So what is item list? So in QuickBooks, an item is anything that you buy, sell, uh, such as products, uh, shipping, handling, discount, and also sales tax if that applies to invoice. So you can think of an item as something that shows up as a, as a line item on, on an invoice or the sales form like this one. line item item code this is item code so you have to create this item code so this is what we're trying to do here so in order to go to item code you can go from here it's right here items and service on the left right side and also from list so this is where they have all the list up item list is right here so so items this really helps you fill out line item in your sales form or purchase forms or or entering your bills so what's the role of uh, an item now so while they uh, provide a quick means of uh, data entry so basically you don't have to type the data uh, the description over and over again uh, when you do the invoicing. Like here. So you don't need to type this over and over again. All you have to do is select item code and it will pre-fill the description here. This is on the sales form. And on the vendor side, when you buy stuff, if you use item code, it will also do the same thing. As you can see here, when you enter bills, expense, and items, so select items, and just select item code from the list. So it's right here, like that. So let's go back to item list. So, so this is the uh, item list. It's already done in here. So if you want to create new item, you just go in here. There's item, and from the drop down, select new, or you can just since you have already have some other items, you can just right click and you will see new in here. Any place, right click, new. Okay, so. When you want to create item, you will see there's different types here. Service, inventory part, inventory assembly, non-inventory part, other charge, subtotal, group, discount, payment, sales tax item, sales tax group. And some of this st stuff like uh, assembly part that require premier or premier accounting type you just have pro so you won't have this one so let's start with the service here so who would use a service here so if you are billing for your services for uh, your labor or for or any fixed price service this is the one you use your service type service as you can see it will say use for services you charge for or purchase like specialized labor consulting hours or professional fees so if you are in service business not the product business product like quantity you have this is a service hour service or fixed price service so this is the one you want to use okay here's a service here so if you click it it will take you to the uh, screen here so so here's a service here, 
and plus you create an item name or number in this case it's insulation so you're billing for doing some insulation for a business and then you type a description so this is the description you will see on your invoice form so whatever you want to see this on your invoice form you can just enter it here and it will basically prefill on your invoice and you can always change it uh, when you're doing the invoice but basically it will prefill and then you put the rate in here in this case it says thirty five dollars you can just put blank in here don't put anything so in that case what happens is when you create invoice you it will show rate as zero nothing so if you put thirty five dollars in here it will show thirty five dollars when you do the invoicing and the tax code you know you, you if you're collecting sales tax on service then you select uh, tax code here in this case let's say non and this is the important one so this account this is account but normally since this is your service invoice so you will basically link this to your account in this case it's the income account so in your chart of accounts part two went through the chart of accounts so that's where we talked about uh, how to set up chart of accounts so you can go and review our part two video about chart of accounts so here's your chart of accounts and installation is income type and it's linked so whenever you're saying i'm going to build installation for my service type it will post your revenue to landscaping service income account okay and then sometime you also want to have a cost side linked to this this revenue income so when you want to do that you will create you click this one so once you click this one it will basically so two sides here one on the income side which always we already have and on the on the left side it also create expense account link so let's say the on the cost side is twenty five dollars you buy using some outside labor let's say or outside contractor and then the expense account you want to select is from the expense expense side of your chart of account let's say you want to use cost of goods sold account so what they're saying is uh, whenever you have a uh, installation income you can also enter your uh, your expense account cost of goods sold account so when you get the bill, if you're hiring uh, outside labor, so in this case, let's just go through one step at a time. So customer, so this is where you invoice and go to create invoices. And we pick the installation one. As you can see here, so here's a description and description, you can change anything you want. You can just add in here you can change anything you want and the rate here is $35 and let's say you want to bill for 10 hours of work it's $35 times 10 is $350 so this is on the invoice side so let's say you uh, hire this Larry guy to do this work and you also want to want to enter uh, Larry's invoice so it's just going here and you can you can we'll go through this later on but you basically just enter here or just write him a check let's say you just want to write him a check and uh, so you'll see a vendor larry and this is where you go items and you check select the installation one as you can see here it's the item and uh, 
So you can put the cost anywhere you want it. $20 cost. And let's say this guy worked 10 hours. And if it is for a job, you can select job here. We're not going to go through that right now. Uh, so basically it's $200 in here and uh, $20 uh, per hour. That's what you're paying. So, so item list. So as you can see here, it's $25. That's your paying and you're selling, you're building it for $35. Your markup's for $10 per hour. So if you save this one, it's on cost side as well as the, uh, the revenue side. So if you, do, if you don't have this cost, you're going to do your own work, then you don't need this one, just unclick it, so it's on the revenue side now. In this case, you won't be using the, uh, the item when you write check. So you won't be using this, you'll be just using this, and it won't link your expense to that invoice or, or your revenue side. So that's the advantage of using uh, both item, combination of both. So using both in here, combine, so it depends upon the situation, but well, that's how you do it. So that's for the uh, service type. And if you have inventory, so in this case, you have to turn the inventory on. If you, if you go in here and uh, edit and preferences, and you would have to turn the inventory on when you first do it. So once it's done, then it's basically, there's the inventory part, type is inventory part, and uh, it's the inventory name, irrigation house, and the cost, you can put it cost in here, but basically when he does the uh, posting, it will you'll do it based on average cost. So it makes no difference when you whatever you put in here. So you can just leave it blank uh, uh, or just put in the exact, your actual cost in here. So in this case, they don't have any sales price for this one. And uh, let's look at another one. Let's look at this one. So in this case, the cost is 12 cents and the selling price of 15 cents. And it's for uh, uh, some irrigation line in here. Okay, so in this case, it's taxable. I mean, tax code is taxable. And uh, so if, you, if you're charging tax, then you have to go in here and change on the, uh, the preferences side. So sales tax. See so right here, do you charge sales tax? Yes. So this is how you have to create your sales tax stuff. And it'll say add sales tax. Here's your, uh, here's the place where you pay your sales tax, got your resale certificate. And then you just fill out, you're going to pay sales tax on a accrual basis or cash basis. How often do you pay? Monthly, quarter, annually? You just fill out this. And then, uh, this is just one time thing. Uh, and then you can, uh, you can be able to use taxable and non-taxable thing. And we'll go, we'll, we'll go through this list one more time. Set up sales tax, we'll just set up sales tax. All right, so this, is, this has to do inventory part here. So inventory part, tax code is tax. And as we said before, this is this side is the uh, income account. So it's linked to your income account. Right here, income account. In this case, it says miscellaneous materials. And then cost of goods sold. So this is the important one. So when you create invoice, what this will do is since you have quantity in here, on hand quantity, this is for the inventory only. So, when you create invoice, let's create one invoice here. Okay, 
So let's say we're going to build 100. So it's $15. So what this will do is it will solve $15 as the revenue. And the other side is this, since this is invoice, it will create your customer's receivable account. Let's we'll say one account in here. So it will create receivable to this uh, uh, customer. And, and at the same time, since this one also has cost involved, it will also post, post cost at, at average cost of 12 cents times 100. So it will also post So 12, 12 cents is your cost. So $115 is your revenue and $12 is your cost. So it will post $12 at the cost of goods sold. And also, it will also reduce your inventory asset account. So here's a 1500. Once you create that invoice, it will reduce this inventory quantity and also post uh, uh, the other side to your uh, cost of goods sold expense account. So that's the inventory part. And then a non inventory one. So the non inventory, it's uh, goods you buy, but you don't track, such as. Uh, certain things you don't want to track as inventory, you just buy it and uh, expense it to a P&L at the same time as, as it incurred and uh, don't track it on the balance sheet as, as inventory asset. So that's what it is. So in this case, same thing. So it's a direct, it's a deck number, that's a product name, and you bill the, as this one and then basically it's it's to income account they can add yours and there's they don't have the, the inventory asset account in here so basically it's one side of this invoice so when you invoice this it's basically it will post to this account this income account into this income account and uh, that's about it. On the cost side, you just basically uh, enter it as they come along. So there's no direct relationship between this income and uh, the cost as they come in. Okay, and the subtotal is if you want to have a, a subtotal create a subtotal of something, you just add the subtotal in here. That's a subtotal in here. Let's just go back to the other invoice part. You just add subtotal in here. As you can see here, there's a subtotal right here. This plus this is a subtotal. That's all it does. So in order to create subtotal, all you have to do is Select type that subtotal and just call the subtotal and it's done. When you want to do the uh, invoicing and create subtotal of those line items as we went through in here, that's all you do. Let's add, let's say subtotal, you know, that's done. And then you can create another type of subtotal the, the way you want to say it. This is just the same thing. It does reimburse subtotal. It's a different name in here. Okay, and let's see what else is in here. Okay, so we went through inventory part this one is it's not available in all all, all QuickBooks, but we can through, go, go through this a little bit later on. 
and other charge. So other charge is very similar to service, but it's specific to certain expense items, like uh, you know you, you want to set up uh, your shipping charges or uh, delivery charges, that kind of stuff. So this is what you do to create other charge, and uh, you can select the account. Let's say from. Um, miscellaneous income type like uh, like other income type so you can create that one and you can make this percentage or amount and the tax code is right here a taxable or non-taxable so for non-taxable you select non-taxable and uh, Right here, and one other example. So the finance charge. So if you charge, uh, if you have income, interest income type, and you want to use as a, uh, your item, so this is what you do. So this is what you're billing your customer, in fact. So if it's interest income, you get it from a customer, or or just from the bank. So this is how you create. type other charge so basically invoice you need to invoice your customer for some uh, uh, non uh, non product related or non service related uh, but you have to you have to invoice your customer then this is you select other charge type and here's a discount one Okay, so here's a discount, 10% discount, and you want to give 10% discount uh, by line item, so you can do that. So if you just put the discount in here, ten percent discount, so it will take out ten percent discount out of this. So this is this is why you need subtotal. You can do uh, if you have different discount rate. Then you can just use one here. Get the subtotal for all the line items for your services, and then add the created discount here. So in discount, the way it works is uh, as you can see here, it's a, it's also discount is also linked to the income account. And you can see a discount. So it's like a contract type account. It will uh, it will show negative amount on your bal on your income statement. So it's, a, it's like a debit type entry, and uh, so basically, this is all you have to do is enter ten percent in here, or if it's fixed amount, you can put hundred dollars, whatever. So that's a ten percent on wine item. So right here is 10 percent, 3650 of this. That works. Okay, and then back to sales tax one. So when you create a sales tax, you will, you will need sales tax for the first one. So this is the uh, group sales tax. So here's the sales tax one, the first one. Okay. So you just put name of your county in your area and just put the tax rate in this case, and here's a description here. And here's your sales tax rate, six and a half percent. And this is the one you should have your vendor list set up, and you you get that from your vendor list. So in this case we click it. And you can see here is a vendor already set up. So if it's not set up, you will need to set up vendor at this time. So the sales tax in California, we pay the State Board of Equalization. So that's what you have in here. State Board of Equalization. And this is for San Thomas County. So this is this is what how you set up tax agency, vendor that you collect for.
and click OK. As I said, how you, if you want to set up sales tax, just go to Edit and the Sales Tax and Compute Preference and we'll just click it here. You can set up Add Sales Tax item from here too. Okay, so and then this is one for the county, and then you also if you sell out of state that you don't sell, you don't charge sales tax, then you have to create another one. Like this, and this is zero sales tax. So when you invoice it, you will just say out of state and then you don't charge sales tax and then if you have another county tax you create the same way like here seven and a half percent is a different county different rate and in some case if you want to combine those rates if you charge multiple sales tax Right here, in this case, uh, the San Dumas County, they charge six, six and a half percent, and there's an assessment fee here, another one and a half, one point seven and a half percent. So instead of charging these two types, you can just combine and do the group rate of eight and eight and quarter percent. So that's when you, you do the uh, sales tax group. So item and new and select sales tax group in here like this you just select from your uh, sales tax you just add both like this one and then assessment like this okay Okay, so we went through service, inventory part we went through, we went through non-inventory part, we went through other charge, subtotal we went through, and the group, group we haven't done it because it's part of uh, 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 Premier and uh, Accountant version, and the payment, let's talk about the payment, so what is this payment stuff, okay. So the payment you want to use if you are uh, like a retail sales and uh, you want to uh, do the daily sales report, you have your own cash register and then you want to create a daily sales uh, receipt uh, in QuickBooks and then you have a distribution of uh, uh, sales by products uh, and then you also have a distribution of payments so you may have a cash payment, credit card payments, uh, checks, uh, whatever so so you create payment type uh, so this is how you do it and uh, so it's basically let's say you cash and you want to deposit to let's say bank account or group it with the depositor fund, undepositor funds. So let's just say you want to directly send it to checking account. So let's say cash like this. Next is uh, so the payment method is cash like this. And so next Let's say it's check. And you want to send it to directly send it to checking. Okay, so so let's say you have invoice sales receipt. And I'll say this is for uh, uh, some delivery service. Of what we have in here in speaking one so let's say uh, it's five thousand dollars six thousand dollars let's say and then 
you have your uh, invoice and this is non-taxable so if you just say it, make it taxable then you would start sales tax as well as you can see at 390 so this is set up as non-taxable okay so let's say you got uh, this is your daily sales of six thousand dollars and you're doing in your cash register you see six thousand dollars sales and you want to create a sales receipt and by payment type so you go in here and you just select the cash and you can see here cash let's say four thousand dollar cash so four thousand dollars so it automatically create negative amount in here and they say check is two thousand dollars as you can see the total is zero but there's a distribution in here six thousand dollars is your income and and distribution of payment type was four thousand by cash and two thousand dollars and checks so it will recognize your revenue six thousand and it will call it will post to your uh, to your bank account four thousand as cash and six two thousand as payment by check it will directly go to like that so this is very helpful if you have a daily uh, sales receipt and you, you get all kinds of credit card payments and uh, you want a group deposit normally you just do the group deposit because if you have a credit card payment you won't see that right away it will take a, take a couple of days to see it so you will send it to we'll send it to group in here group with other undeposited funds so we'll talk about that on uh, next chapter uh, but that's how we do the check uh, the, 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 the payment side the payment side okay so now let's talk about the uh, assembly one so the assembly one is basically uh, if you you will need premier or premier accountant or of course enterprise editions so let us see inventory assembly here okay so let us select inventory assembly in here this one so if you just have a inventory uh the quickbooks pro you won't have this uh so you don't want to try it so all it does is basically to group assemble uh your parts in here so you pick so if, let's say you want to uh you want to make a holes in here special holes let's say and you select quantity in here like this let's say you want to select two of these let's say four of these six of these and let's say you want another one in here, some of the parts. One, you can put the, there's no cost involved right now in this one, so you can, you have to create it. So in, in, in any case, so the bill of material for the assembly part on this one is $1.60. And then you bills number of units you want and that's how we post we post material level 60 and you take out all these from your inventory asset account so it'd be like a separate inventory asset account for the uh, uh for the inventory asset type so this is how you do it and then you have to see if the inventory account income account i mean and uh so you can Let's say this is your income account, landscaping. So this is how you do the uh, assembly side. And the 
last one is the uh, the group. The group is very similar to uh, uh, assembly. Inventory assembly is, is is for all the inventory side. But if you want to do the uh, uh, group side, it's exactly the same way like you do the assembly. But this is a different purpose. So this is for associating individual items uh, that you like to see it all together on invoices uh, or purchase order and so on. You just group everything in one place. So let's say group. Let's say so let's select any anything you want. Let's say there's one here. Here, so you got an idea. Uh, so, if you want to print items in group, if you, if you select this one now, you want to select this print items. So, you select that one, and that's it. So, basically, save this one. Okay, so you go to invoicing, and if you type special invoicing right here, so the list everything in here. And there's a price here. So you can put price in here. Since there was no price on the other one, it says $50. It said $10 on this one. So here's a special invoicing. It's a grouping one. So the moment you type special invoicing, it will list all these items right away. So that's going to help you. So the total is 375 so that's how you do the, uh, the grouping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and then you can uh, run reports if you want. And on this one, uh, if you want to create a sub item, you can also do it like this right here plant trees. So this is your head account, and underneath, you can create a uh, uh, sub accounts like this and you can move this one if you need it like this like this you can shuffle it the way you want it you can just plant trees on the inventory type so so in order to create a uh, sub item so you gotta have this one first so this is your top account and underneath you have a sub account so if you want to create sub accounts here's your plant and trees that's your head account top account plant and trees and then you just check here, right here, and then create a new account. And if you have a certain manufacturer's part number you want to use, this is helpful if you want to if you create a purchase order at some point. So this is what you put in the manufacturer's part number. And if you don't have it, this will be fine. So the click is the trees. And in this case, you have uh, use both cost as well as the revenue side. The revenue side is on the right side and the cost on the left side. Like this. So this is how you uh, uh, create a sub sub items. And then if you just right click it, then you can delete or duplicate item. You can just duplicate like this right here. So it's a duplicate. You want to delete, let's say if you don't, if you haven't used it, no transaction, just delete. It will give you prompt message. So, yes, duplicate right here. 
So once you create a duplicate, then you want to change your uh, your item name. You can call it something else. You don't have same item number twice. So you can please rename this any way you want it. And uh, done. So you just delete, no problem. If you want to if you want to create uh, multiple items, you can click in here, right here, like this. So this is the basic thing you need to learn uh, how to create item. So the item is like a, as I say, this uh, uh, back in uh, accounting. So it handles, uh, uh, you know, basically the behind the scenes accounting. Uh, you won't even see it, but it does all the works for you. So create invoice right here. So this one is linked to uh, your income accounts. This one is linked to certain income account. And if it's inventory, it also linked to cost of the sold and inventory asset account. Same thing with the, the vendors here. When you enter bills, all you have to do is select items, not expense, but items. So expenses directly goes to your chart of accounts or to PL. With items, it goes through your item list and then and it will also post to your uh, your chart of accounts account. So that's how you do item listing and uh, uh, so next chapter we're going to talk something else uh, just look for it uh, as you can see here this is the new stuff here so they have all the uh, money money bar and uh, graphs and everything so the home page right here is very similar nothing's changed and there's added this inside stuff with all the graphs and stuff so that's all about this item listing and we, we went through a lot so thanks for watching see you again